Hey everybody, welcome back to another gaming proc review video. Today I present you the quietest keyboard I have ever had. That is the Eple Maker Niz Plum Autumn 68 Electro Capacitive Keyboard. There are two options available, one with Bluetooth RGB and one without Bluetooth RGB. I have the non-Bluetooth RGB version. I have been wanting this keyboard for a while now and finally I got it. Let's open it up and check it out. To begin, this is a rubber dome keyboard, not mechanical. The difference between these two types of keyboards is the switches. The Nispalm Autumn 68 combines the silent operation of a rubber dome keyboard with the reliability and tactility of a mechanical keyboard. The construction consists of a rubber dome that houses a slider over which is a coiled spring and a printed circuit board. In the box, you'll find the keyboard, of course, a dust cover, a little guide, a braided detachable USB-C cable, a keycap holder, additional Mac keys, these little plastic things for the stabilizers, I think. And then the last thing you get inside the box is a bag of springs that you would put on the switches. These add more actuation of at least 10 grams for those who aren't a fan of light presses. There is a little difference in sound and feel. Without the spring, it's smooth, quiet, and light. With the spring, it's just a little bit heavier and louder. For me, I like it without the springs, but having that spring option is great since it's easy to change it. You can also easily switch between Mac and Windows, simply press the function key plus Alt to toggle between Windows and Mac. Let's talk about the build quality. The case is plastic and the build of the board is just so solid and well built. It is relatively lightweight coming in at 1 pound and 4.6 ounces. On the back there are 4 rubber feet to prevent slip on surfaces. There are also 2 mode pop out kickstands to give a higher elevation. The USB-C port is actually not at the top, it's at the back of the keyboard. And then there's a cable routing system at the back too, where you can put the cable in the middle, left or right, depending on where you're comfortable at it being or where your PC is placed. As for the keycaps, they are PBT keycaps. They are durable and won't develop a shine effect over time. In terms of feel, there is some texture on them, so it's not slippery. The stabs have a different design they don't look like the usual stabs you would see on a mechanical keyboard. I actually don't suggest removing the keycaps of the stabs because it might not be familiar. Since I've never seen this kind of stabilizer design before, it took me a while to put it back. The stabs do come pre-looped from the factory and yes, they are smooth and quiet. Let's do a typing test. The keyboard size is 11.6 by 4.3 by 1 inches. Let's test it out.
I just got a good game using this keyboard and overall I really like the sound of this keyboard. The sound just really surprised me. It's so quiet and smooth. I highly recommend this keyboard for those who want a quiet and quality built keyboard. Thank you Apple Maker, for sending me this keyboard. If you want more information, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss on any of my uploads. Have a wonderful gaming day. Bye and I hope to see you on the next video.